What is going on, my modders, and welcome back to another episode of Modism. I am your host, Chris Ung, and today we got a special video in store for you. Before we get the video started, let me just preface this by saying this is a continuation of last week's video, which, if you haven't seen it yet, check it out now. But a quick recap in last week's video, we installed our front lip, had it wired, we had our second merch drop, and we had our first ever car meet. Well, now that you're all caught up, I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So guys, a little update. What you doing? But anyway, today I'm going over some things I need to wrap up, such as some last minute editing from like, what, a month or two ago. This is the footage from the first meet, which is funny because you guys are gonna see this before you see the video you're watching right now. I apologize for that, I was on vacation, but I'm back. But to update you guys on what happened since the meet, I've taken a trip to LA, drove my car down, literally no problems whatsoever. And then I took a trip down to Las Vegas a couple days ago, literally no problems on the way there, no problems for the whole trip. And on the way back, that's when all the problems started rising. So Kristen and I pulled over to this coffee shop and the first thing I noticed when we went back to the car was that the middle of the front lip was it was in rough shape. It wasn't completely bad at that point, but it was salvageable. And then so I was like, ah, it's not that bad. I'll, I'll deal with it when I go. So we start driving, leave the parking lot, go over some train tracks. Boom! I'm like, oh my god, that doesn't sound good. We get out the car. Now the left side where the light is is completely like it's just demolished, just hanging down. We had to use zip ties to fix it. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna just scrap these lights and I'll figure it out later. And on the way home, the part we zip tied ended up flying off on the freeway because everyone's going like 100 miles per hour. You guys will see it in a couple seconds, but don't worry. It definitely prepared me for what's to come because I'm gonna be using a lot of performance parts. I'm really debating if I should make my own front splitter, like a chassis mounted one. I think that'd be cool. But yeah, I guess we're gonna track out the SI now. Woo, we're in the car now and we're gonna go ahead and drop off the packages. Right now my car is throwing like eight different codes because of the light that got disconnected. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can fix that and get these cleared. We just made it to the post office right now. I'm about to drop off these packages. But before I go on, let me just say thank you so much for not killing the first, but also the second drop as well. The amount of love and support I received from you guys is absolutely out of this world and I can't thank you guys enough. This is my dream job right here and you guys are making it happen. What more could I want? So big shout outs and thank yous to everyone that has copped a piece of Modism merch. If not, go ahead, head on to modism.com if you wanna go ahead and check it out. And let me remind you that when you guys cop a hoodie or a banner, you guys are not just copying a hoodie or a banner. You are joining the Modism lifestyle. So if you wanna join the world's largest car religion, then be sure to head to modism.com. I just got to my uncle shop right now, but I'm checking out this fat ass turbo right here. Holy crap, this thing is huge. <laughs> the SI definitely cannot handle this. Here's the cold side, and this fatter, darker spot, this is the hot side of the turbo. I believe the exhaust manifold. So it goes in here, spins the turbine, which is also connected to the cold side. And when that spins, it draws in air, goes in here, feeds it out, bam! Okay, so here is Bernie's infamous Civic, but this is the idea that I was going for. He actually told me about his front splitter. This is made of wood. I was also wondering, I was like, should I make my front splitter out of wood? And it's a quick release. So it looks super sick. I don't know. I really want to do a front splitter. So he just went through everything right now um, with this Autel device. So hopefully it cleared up everything. Yeah, no codes, nothing. Even if we go, oh, not that one. That's my oil. Let's see. Info. Usually this will tell you what's wrong. Just door open. <laughs> Nothing's wrong. My emissions light's gonna come on in a couple of minutes because I need to tune that out. Well guys, now that we cleared all those codes, we can finally get down to fix everything else that's wrong with the car. So to give you guys a recap, I recently took a trip down to LA. Literally nothing happened to the car. And then I took a trip down to Las Vegas a couple days ago. And then on the way there, nothing happened. On the way back, it all started with the front lip yes the very same front lip that we installed in the previous video for the meat that got absolutely destroyed fixed this side with zip ties and then a couple seconds later the light came off it's really supposed to look like this side right here see this is a sequential light keep in mind i'm not saying that it's a terrible lip i think it was an amazing lip and it was super dope it's just more for show cars not exactly track cars but it's a good thing because it made me realize i really want to track out my car so i'm not worried about the front lip as far as the front lip goes i just plan on disconnecting the lights on that side and then removing the bottom part so it looks like this side and then i'm also going to remove these two screws as well as the broken middle part another thing is one of my fog lights is out it's 
replaced the driver's side, I found out it's just a blown bulb, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace that as well. Moving along, the body of the car is looking pretty great, I gotta say, considering, you know, it's been through a lot. But besides the dirt, there's nothing really wrong. Towards the back, however, my passenger side brake light is actually out, which is no issue at all because I have a secret for you guys. You guys are gonna be so stoked. So yes, we are gonna take care of that, but I'm not gonna tell you guys how until later. As for this side, when we are on the freeway, I heard this noise, like a rattling noise. I was like, what the hell was that? And I turned around, this visor was flapping and we were going like a hundred. I literally pulled over on the interstate and I was just like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to take this off because I don't want to have to get a second set. Sorry, third set actually. Yeah. So for those of you don't know, this is my second set of window visors because the first one I installed came off the day after. I was stupid back then. I'm pretty sure I know why it came off, but now we're going to go ahead and redo it with some 3M again. I'm also just going to redo the 3M strips on all of the window visors just because it's another thing to check off the list. Moving towards the inside, she's just really really dirty right now it's not the worst but it's definitely something doable and one of the most annoying things that happened this trip is the pedal commander adhesive um on the velcro it wore off because it was so hot so it kept falling off every couple seconds and it would just dangle by my legs so i would stick it in that side cup holder right there but sometimes i would forget i stuck it in there so when i opened the door it would yank that shit hella hard yeah other than that the interior is really solid oh and i also want to let you guys know that i am running a custom tune i did myself i know it sounds pretty crazy because you're probably like this dude doesn't know how to tune and yeah you're right i don't know how to tune so the reason why i'm running a custom tune right now is because i was previously running a TSV stage one. As far as the mods I have on the car, I'm running the PRL race intake, PRL catalyst downpipe and front pipe, NVIDIA R400. Oh, and the pedal commander too, and the K tuner, but yeah. Performance wise, besides the coilovers, that's basically it. Oh, and I'm also running the block off plate for those of you who don't know. And as far as the update with the block off plate, your car's fine, bruh. My car's been running it for over two months and it's fine. It's freaking fine, I swear to God. I push this thing to hell. I, I hear the turbo flutters all the time. I make it pop like crazy. I don't baby this car at all. Can you run a block off plate? Yes. Is it ideal for your car? No. Is it gonna blow up your car? No. Of course, if you're running a spacer like that, you're gonna experience engine bogging every now and then but that's normal. Now I'll probably end my test there as far as the block off plate. Maybe like half a year down the road, I'll give you guys an update to see if it really affected the car. But in all truth, I don't think it will. So if you want to run it, run it. Just don't be a dumbass. So right now we're going to head off to O'Reilly's and we're going to pick up a new bulb for the fog light and we're also going to buy some Velcro if they have any. Okay, we're now O'Reilly's going to pick up the stuff and then we're going to get started ASAP. Three. No, they don't have a stretch today. Damn, he talked about all these foods up there. Okay, we're looking for H8. Okay, this is the one we need right here. Sweet. This is actually my third stop, but we're at Home Depot over in Colma. Okay, so I just found the Velcro. I still need to find the 3M, but I'm having some trouble. I just found this tape. It's pretty wide, but we'll make it work. All right, y'all, now that we have everything we need, we're gonna go ahead and get started once we get home. We are now here with Kristen. Here's a little profile jack that my dad got me. I'm gonna be using this today. All right, we got the new low profile jack all set up. We're gonna start off by replacing the driver's side fog lamp. These are some coveralls I picked up from Walmart on the way back from Vegas. I finally can wear some proper size fitting ones because uh, I used my dad's before and he shorted than me. So every time I work on the car, it was riding up my ass like crazy. Now. <laughs> Mother shit. What'd I say? Oh yeah. Okay, try. It's called a floor jack and then the motherfucker from Titanic. That's called a door jack, you know what I'm saying? Nice job. Bang! So this is what the car looks like right now. <laughs> it looks like she's nodding her head to the side, like to the right side. So it kind of looks like this. Look at shit missing. Oh wait, it's in the trunk. He's undoing the screws underneath what? Tell all your modest what you're doing, because I actually don't know what you're doing. So it's a good educational video too. Okay, yeah, so we we'll just took out the screws. I'm gonna pull the fender liner back. And if you care about your fender liner, uh, some people are really strategic with it. But me, I don't really care. So we're gonna fold it or bend it. Ooh, no, oh. yep, there you go. Nice, hey, nice. Yo. Bang. Wait, did you just break your car basically? No. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so it just comes off like that? So here's what we're working with under, oh, underneath. Sorry, there's my intake right there. But you see this harness that's just floating? That is what we're gonna plug the new bulb in and then that should be it. And then we're just gonna 
bolt everything back up. So this is the old one right here. My uncle is telling me how if it's cloudy towards the bottom, that usually means the bulb is done for. You can also see the filament is broken. Picked up a brand new version of the same bulb. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in right now. All right, so now we have the new light plugged in right there. We're gonna go ahead and bolt everything back. And then that is one problem crossed off. But first we're gonna see if it works. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the lights. The lights on. Now that we knocked that out, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws and that broken middle piece. We have these leftover tabs. I'm just gonna sand it down so it's, you know, roughly the same length as this lip. We're gonna go ahead and do it for here and then the other side. So we're doing this. Okay, we're gonna try scoring it instead because the sandpaper got super hot. Ooh. There Yo, go. so are you gonna paint this after? Um, maybe, maybe, yeah. I'm just gonna hit it up with um, maybe like black touch of paint, I like with the spray paint. I don't like it too much. Yeah. Kristen's gonna go inside, clean the interior. Yep. And then after that, um, while she's cleaning the interior, I'm gonna work on these window visors. Yo. Yeah, so pass, you see that? So pass. So pass. So pass. So pass. So Lord, so pass. Alright, so, uh, PRO. Yeah, so you're gonna start on the inside, I'm gonna start on the sanding. Yep, I'm starting on the inside. So hot, man. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I mean, the heater's on too, but. I know, she's. Oh Christ. man. Ding, ding, ding. Hobo, hobo. Eh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> going to be using these grunge grippers to be cleaning the floors, specifically the mats. The the mats are these, right? These ones. Yeah, okay, mats. This is the before of um, the left side. I cleaned it a little bit, but I didn't get the inside, so I'm gonna use the wipes. It did a good job on this side because there's not really much dirt anymore. It's all so disgusting because the wipes get everything. And it, you see all the dirt. We can gag. This is the before. It's dirty, I know. But we just went on two road trips, right? Yes. Now it's time to vacuum passenger seat. Here's an update as to what I did. So I chopped off those tabs and then I sanded it down. I didn't paint correct or I didn't bother to because I think I'm probably gonna touch this up with plastic dip because this front lip has really shit paint anyway. But now that that's done, we're gonna move on to removing every window visor and reinstalling the 3M. Getting kind of late right now, and we knocked out a lot of the things. Kristen cleaned out the interior super well. I will show you guys once everything is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and reattach the pedal commander with a brand new stripper Velcro. Here's my pedal commander, and here's the backing, which we're gonna remove right now. Start with the old, and then we're gonna clean off the back before we apply the new Velcro. Otherwise, it's just going to fall off because of dirt or dust, you know? You know how it goes. So apparently, this is rated at 16 pounds, uh, so it should be able to hold up a pedal commander, no problemo. We just have it attached like so. I'm gonna place it back where I had it originally. Ooh, then you gotta push this shit firmly. Bang, there it is now with the new Velcro. Does the job, I don't mind the red. Well guys, it's getting kinda late, so I'm gonna call it a night, and then tomorrow I'm gonna pick up where I left off. You guys are gonna figure out what the surprise with the taillights is going to be. But yeah, I think other than that, the car is looking pretty freaking spick and span now. But yeah, just getting back to the original state. All right, folks, it is now the next day and the part I'm most excited for. Here is the big reveal. All right, y'all. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Here's the nicer side. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is pretty crazy, huh? My friends, 
I am happy to announce that this video is brought to you by Ultimate Motorsports. Ultimate Motorsports is an aftermarket company that produces high quality products for attention and civics, which is perfect because that's what I have. They've been also oh generous to give me very, very, very early access to whatever's inside. I guarantee you this is gonna blow your mind away. So if you wanna copy yourself something from Ultimate Motorsports, be sure to go down to the description below and click the link, use the code on screen, and just like that, you got yourself a discount at Ultimate Motorsports. But without further ado, my friends, let's get into it. All right, boys and girls, we're just gonna hop right into it. This is sick. Wow. Okay, first off, let me just say this packaging is on point. So if you're one of those people who are skeptical about the packages breaking, don't worry. If you get it from them, it's not gonna break. Oh, oh my god. This is gonna be crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, this is gonna be badass. Oh my god. Anything's better than these. Of course, with any install, first thing you gotta do is take off the OEM stuff. It's just this grip here. And this one down here, and then the whole tail light should just come out. Hey, none to it, guys. And then, just like that, it comes out. Oh, maybe you might need a little convincing, but I know there's two pins on this side. Mata AS. Ah! Sound like you broke. Mata AS. Nice. That sounds scary as shit. But yeah, so here's the OEM tail light. We're gonna go ahead, unplug all of these harnesses. Uh, there we go. But yep, yeah, here's the OEM one. Now that we have the old one out and the new one right here, you're gonna wanna take out the bulbs from the old one. Then you're gonna remove the bulb, and then this is gonna sit where the bulb once sat. That's what we're doing, this right? So it's gonna look just like this. And then we're gonna stick it in there, just like a regular light bulb. Having the OEM tail light next to you while you're doing this helps a lot, cause then you can see how everything fits together. This is a really nice plug and play kit. Cause as you guys saw with my front lip that got demolished in the last episode, uh, I suck with electronics. But don't worry, I'm gonna be taking classes for it. So this fitment is A1. I think that's all we need to do. Cool, now it's ready to be slapped on the car. And just to help see which wire goes to which connector, I have this other side pulled out just so I can take a look at it. So that way it'll make the job a lot easier. Blue, black, gray, green. Okay. Okay, so here's how it's gonna go. Black, green, gray, blue. So black, and then green, gray, and then lastly, blue. We're also gonna clip in the little tab that had the that had the zip tie on it because that's what keeps this harness connected to the tail light. Extra security. Yeah, just like that, it's all connected. We're gonna put it back in the way that the OEM one was in. Let's pull some of this plastic back. I'm not gonna pull out the plastic completely yet because you know, I'm Chinese and you gotta just saran wrap everything. Okay, actually I lied. There's another thing we have to connect. So before I attach this to the car, I'm gonna um, grab this side piece that's gonna replace this part up here. Okay, we're also gonna remove this top piece right here. It's just two 10 millimeters, so no biggie. <laughs> Well, folks, I believe we're gonna have to remove the trunk lining and then there is a third screw under here. Okay, let's keep the business going. Uh, luckily, these pins are not as annoying as the ones on the outside of the car. I don't know what these ones are called, but they look like uh, little Eiffel Towers, if that gives you an idea. And they come out really easy. I haven't broken any of them. Nice and easy. That's how you want. They don't cap though. Like, as I'm filming this right now, you guys ordered a shit ton of stuff, so <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the hoodies are very low in stock right now. Which is good though, because I already secured mine, you know what I'm saying? Okay, now this whole thing should just come off. Oh, I missed one. Stupid me. I missed another one. We got the trunk lining removed. The third one we want to remove is right there. That one right there. Okay, I have an extension on here, and here's a piece of paper towel on the end. I'm doing that because, uh, well, if you drop that 10 millimeter down in the trunk, you're not gonna have any stuff in the back. Bam, there you go. Once you get the light dangling by the wire, all you have to do is disconnect this white clip right there. Here we have our brand new, unreleased, never before seen, uh, Ultimate Sports Mugen style. <laughs> What am I saying? So this wire right here is gonna be fed through, and then after that, you're gonna connect it just how the OEM one was. Right here are the two 10 millimeters. This little dust cover I removed right here. We're gonna go ahead and run this wire through there. We're gonna have to remove the trunk lining. We're gonna route it up here. 
and connect it right there. I'll show you guys the finished product. This is the little cap that came off. We're gonna drill right where that little hole is right there. Here's what the piece looks like now. It's ready to fit a wire through it. The reason why I did that is because it's gonna better seal up the wires for when it rains. And you don't even need to be a genius to figure this out, but water and electricity don't mix. Okay, folks, I just removed the connector from the plug wires, specifically this one hanging out from the hole. Now without the connector there, we can go ahead and slide the seal over this to the black part. Okay, guys, so here is that little cover we drilled a hole into. We're gonna go ahead and stick this in one at a time if it doesn't have enough clearance, but Actually, both of them fit at the same time. And then we're gonna keep pulling it until this black wire cover is gonna be fitted in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place the cover back where it originally sat. Now we're gonna go ahead and toss the connector back on. These connectors are labeled on the back. The red wire is in spot number one. Now, as you can see, the wires are connected and there is an excess right here. So to fix that, we're gonna go behind the trunk lining and then we are gonna pull this wire. As you can see, the slack is shortening up. Nice. Once you get it to a slack that you're satisfied with, we're gonna go ahead and put the tail light back on and mount it properly. Ugh. Here's the wire we're working with. My plan of attack is to follow this OEM harness all the way up. Sorry, it's hard to see, but it routes there and then it comes back up here and into there. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. All right, folks, so I just finished up the driver's side. As I previously mentioned, we would try to follow the line of the OEM wires, which we did. I got electrical tape right there, right there. Ooh, sorry, my hands are so ashy. Got it right here. Bang, bang. Just spots where the wire can follow the shape. Otherwise, it's kind of just gonna cut across, you know what I'm saying? And then when it got up to here, I just bundled up the excess wire, wrapped it with electrical tape, and then I zip tied it down to the trunk so that when we're driving, we don't hear this rattling noise. As for the clip that powered the OEM light, I just have it taped down. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side and I'll toss back on the trunk lining and then you guys will get the reveal. All right, y'all, so we just finished the other side. This is how the first wire tuck went. Pretty freaking nice. Here's the second one right here. Not bad as well. So the installation is officially complete. Now let's go take a look at the lights. And like I said before, I got my hands on these super, super early. Shit, many of y'all probably gonna see this for the first time too. Oh, oh crap. Uh. <laughs> Shit. Car's all done. Ta-da! That looks so freaking sick. Dude, smoked. And the smoke side markers. And these are Mugen styles. And I'm one of the first. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I think it looks pretty sick. What do you guys think? Overall, that install was pretty easy. Yes, you're gonna have to take your time and make sure you do things correctly. But in all seriousness, it is not a difficult task. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick up Kristen right now. Then we're gonna do some editing at Society. Bruh. The smoke got tail lights make it look so sexy. We here. Oh, my bad. Yeah, my reverse lights are on. Dude, that's sick. Yeah, bro. Oh, dude, this is one of the first uh, sedans in the country that has these style tail lights. Really? Yeah. Queen. Thanks, bro. This is the Mugen style. There's like, I've seen like sequentials for like this car. Uh huh. It looks very right style, but this looks really clean. Cool. Thanks, really like man. It. Yeah. You mean you mean the uh, the ones that are like down here sometimes? Yeah, it looks like plastic. This is like really nice. Oh yeah, thank you, thank wow. you. Imagine if you had like your past player that now didn't crack. Bruh, oh, <laughs> let me let me show you the work I did to it too. Uh, kind of, sorta. I did as best as I could. I fixed my fog lamp. That one was out. I took off the middle section right there and then those little tabs that were holding it up, I just sanded it down. And then when I have a chance to, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, what is it, plastic dip it. And then I'm gonna do a chassis mount of What Wait, you think? Nice. Thanks, bro. Really like, I, <laughs> I know, man. I I came back with one less piece. Oh, oh my goodness, Honestly, that's okay. Like white. Oh yeah, when you get when you get sequentials now. 
Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. Man's going to Hawaii. <laughs> so we just finished working at Society. I was editing and she was writing a letter. Yeah, so I guess for tonight we're just gonna be fashion and what we gonna yes. do. Watch Euphoria. Yeah. <laughs> You're watching Euphoria. I know. Because I've been making <laughs> it's definitely interesting. <laughs> Boom! Here she is outside. First off, let me just say I am absolutely digging this smoked look. We got the smoke side markers up front, and of course, the Ultimate Motorsports Mugen style smoke tail lights in the rear. Never before seen. But damn, it just makes everything flow so nicely. It wasn't until I got the smoke ones on that I realized I actually hated the OEM red. The red was just so painstaking, you know? Like, my eyes just hurt whenever I saw it. But what do you guys think? I think the SI is looking really good, especially considering how bad she looked when we first started the video. I'm not gonna lie, those were pretty harsh road trips, but she held up. And now, she's looking pretty solid. So, can't be mad about that. Right, even from the back, the rear just looks so much better now. And of course, the sequentials. Ooh, really making me want to swap out that third brake light. This has always been one of my favorite angles of the car. Oh my freaking god, this is so sick. But before all is said and done, it's time to add one more to the list. You might be asking, what list is he talking about? I'm talking about this list right here. Boom, boom, some quick movie magic. Another set. Boom, oh my goodness, look, it's so sick. For you OG subscribers, you know the SI has come a super long way. I'm so proud of us. But anyway, right now, I'm gonna go to K1 with the boys. And then after that, we're gonna hang out and have a little photo shoot. All right, y'all, we are pulling up right now. Ooh, there's Alden's car. <laughs> Look at these motherfuckers. Look at these motherfuckers. And John just showed up. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Dude, these dudes are running it right now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's how they start up. Yeah, that's how it even goes up to the top. <laughs> yeah, you want to Yeah. No way. Yeah. Yeah, the Mugen tail lights. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we just took a major L. They said, no more reservations. Huh? Oh, yeah, let's, let's do that shit from here. But they said they couldn't fit us in for the night. So instead, we're going to go. Where are we going again? Oh, yeah, we're going, we're going to Classic to go bowling. Yeah, we just got here. Never mind, bro. We taking L's left and right today. They were also full. Why are we getting smacked around today, bro? This sucks. But whatever, guys. We just figured we're gonna go ahead and get some food because we're hungry. And then after that, we'll probably go ahead and just hang out, do a photo shoot. So it'll still be a chill night. The glass is half full. Well, guys, we're getting ready to head home right now. But it was a pretty chill night. Um, we ended up eating at Cherry's and we were just playing Smash in the car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whoop that fool's ass. And, and then he whooped my ass. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!